you actually Okay, um, so in this uh, piece, in, in this set that I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and forth between um, the dark road and some pockets of light. So, at least I think are pockets of light anyway. Um, so this first one is, is um, challenging. And it's something that I'm obviously still working on, um, but hopefully it strikes a chord. So it has no title, but it is for Aidan Gregory Century, my nephew, um, 58 days old. One, paradise. Here buzzes the song of fireflies floating, silent lanterns illuminate the haze. She swallowed the bugs. Her abdomen glows beneath my hand, a pulse that sways within the growing globe of her body. Two, sonogram. Look deep. A grainy image of a figure twists to dance. He plays hide and seek in a closet. We see him behind the walls, another pulse. She taps her feet and her brother still calm. Her hand, a swift gliding on the wind, they hold one another, all spark and watery breath. Ava, our little bird. Aiden, our little fire. Twins. The doctor asks us if we want to see the faces. I swell, nod my head through tears, and the machine uncoils one face in a hush. There, my sister's forehead. A flat plane, her husband's nose all buttoned and wide. Ava's eyes seem open, and I wonder what world she sees. Aiden won't twist. We sing and warm him by pressing on my sister's belly with care. He sleeps stubbornly. He has shown his heart, the limping pulse. That must be enough. Turning is too much. We smile, not knowing. I hold Ava's picture like an icon, staring deep into the eyes until I feel her stare back. Three, neonatal, neonatal intensive care unit, NICU. I hold Ava and Aiden is ash. Fire has burned so fast, he flashed in air. No fanning would keep the ember steady. Ash on wind, he's gone. Ash on my tongue where I kissed his smooth forehead, newly washed of the tape that held the monitors of his life. Four. On the last day, I held Ava's hand to Aiden's. The first and last time in this world, they'll play together in their dreams. My mother said like a prayer. My the others had left. I remained a moment while the girl cried a goodbye. Her lips could not form, and he heard a goodbye he could not know. And it, when it was time for the machines to stop, I carried the bird away from the fire. Heavy, heavy, I lost my way. A labyrinth of curtains, infants in pain, mothers weeping in whispers, praying in thanks. How had that storm found its way into those sunny, sterile halls? I could barely see for the light refracting from the streaming glass a strange and terrible wonderland. I must be dreaming. Alone, I carried the sister while her brother closed his eyes to wait for his first bath. <laughs> <laughs>